Hey everybody, welcome back to Spur Design Garage. This is Austin. Today I thought I'd do a little bit of sketching in this video. I found a old sketchbook from when I was, um, or sorry, maybe ninth grade or so. Thought this would be interesting to show you. Um, I had been sketching since I was maybe 10 and always would have sketchbooks like this, just testing out new styles, testing out uh, different concepts that I was working on. This was some old, you know, um, blue Verithin Prismacolor pencils. Uh, I was creating this Porsche called the Kreutzer. It was like a, uh, uh, Kreutzer means cruiser in German, so it was sort of like a recreational Cayman alternative, probably back in like 2009. Um, but it's just fun to look back on some of these sketches and it almost takes me back to that place and, and I almost remember what it was like to sketch some of these and what I was thinking as I was testing out new techniques and trying to learn things, you know, testing out new perspectives. Um, this was a bit of an earlier concept called the Aruba concept. It was like this large, large um, yacht-like sedan. Um, and that's really where the name came from. It was taking inspiration from yachts and sailing. And um, later on in the design process, I was incorporating this sort of yacht window. Um, and again, I was just looking online at a lot of different sketch styles. And um, there were some really cool people online who we could, you know, upload images and have this really great back and forth with competitions and with, um, you know, just giving off advice. Um, and I, I learned so much from those people on those forums. Speedanddesign.net was a big one, Car Spy Shots. Um, but I just was sketching and sketching and sketching on all these different things. There's some Copic marker um, sketch of the Aruba trying to learn, you know, reflections and things like focal point and how to sketch wheels, which clearly I was struggling with. Um, but here's that window from the yacht inspiration that I was trying to create. I think I was looking a lot at the Fisker car when that came out originally. Uh, but a little bit more on the Kreutzer. Just kind of fun to look at this. But um, I found a sketch in here that I wanted to redo. Um, you can see there's just lots and lots of exploration in here. Different projects, just trying out things, exploring, having fun. On this page, there was some interesting little concepts, but this is one that I thought was kind of cool. Um, I think at the time it was meant to be a Toyota of some sort, um, but you know, the, obviously there's issues with the sketch, but I think the overall concept here was kind of cool. So I wanted to take a stab at what I might interpret this as a designer nowadays. And I think the main thing that I was looking at was sort of this shape going on in here, this form interaction between, you know, the window and this underbody portion and kind of the overall proportions here is sort of like this very wedge shape hot hatch. All right, so I wanted to take a stab at this concept recreation on paper first. Um, so I'm going to sketch in the sketchbook just a couple of times, do a little overlay. Um, you can see that I'm just laying in some of the general lines and really the main thing that I'm trying to capture right off the bat is that overall concept of this window shape that is interacting with the rest of the body. Um, and I'm trying to integrate the forms in a little bit more of a well integrated manner than they were in the original concept that you can see up in the blue there. Um, trying to make sure that all these lines flow well together and the forms start to make sense. I felt like this first sketch started to look a little bit too sporty, a little too much like a wedge sports car, almost Ferrari Modulo. And I wanted to move back into this hot hatch kind of feel. Um, so I'm gonna do another overlay over the top and change the proportions up a little bit and really try to make sure that this central theme 
that's stemming from this window shape is flowing into the rest of the, the design theme um, overall and thinking about the forms a little bit more and how these smaller details can help emphasize that central theme. Um, that's really what I'm trying to do in this particular design and really in all designs, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so this is going to be kind of an interesting, fun one to play around with. All right, so let's get into the Photoshop portion of this little sketch. Um, I did this fairly quickly. I just wanted to capture a little bit more lighting and shading on this particular sketch. Scanned in the pen sketch that I did and I'm dropping it into a darker background so that this color um, body shape can pop off. I'm really looking for contrast here against that background. Um, but again, I just wanted to be a little bit loose about this. I'm going in with a hard um, brush to color in this space. I'm not using a pen tool or anything like that. Um, just having a bit more of like a painterly approach to this. I wasn't particularly pleased with where this sketch ended up, um, but again, it's quick. And so you can, you know, if you're not happy with the sketch that you do, you can modify it uh, pretty quickly, change it with this technique uh, to have a little bit more contrast or a completely different style than you're going for the first time. Um, so I'm darkening in some of these graphics with a tonal um, difference in the color compared to the background. So I color selected that background and now I'm coming in with a darker version of that shade. Um, just so it has a little bit of uh, unifying quality about it. Um, and again, everything that I'm doing is I'm trying to, and I'm, I'm by no means the best at doing this. You know, there's plenty of car designers out there that who are way more talented than I am. Um, so I'd highly recommend going and check out their videos. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to come up with shapes that are feeding into this central concept of this design. Um, and so the forms that I'm shading now, I'm trying to have them interact with the central concept. Again, I feel like it's this sort of like chiseled, um, trapezoidal window shape that I, that I had in the original sketch. Um, from way back in the day that I'm trying to capture here and have flow throughout the rest of the body shape. Um, there are some things that I'm picking up on from Italian car design, um, like kind of the way that the, the body side is split up and feeds into this sort of spoiler area. Um, I've been looking a lot at um, Italian concept cars from the 70s and the 60s, as well as Group B rally cars, so I'm thinking like, um, you know, Audi Sport Quattro and Lancia's from that Group B era. Um, and here you can see I'm just playing around with color and I have this on a setting where I am doing a color dodge and a color burn um, with the same color selected as the body side and I'm doing so in a, in a soft brush um, sketchy quality and seeing what happens with the color as I build up. So again, that's the brush setting that I'm changing um, on this particular layer to have this sort of like really, really highly um, bright and saturated look. Um, and I think this, this ends up looking very, very much metallic. Um, but there's some weird kind of color differences going on in here. So I'm, I'm going to start to change that a little bit, but um, you can see what I'm generally doing. I'm trying to lay in the main forms that are going on um, and thinking about the front side of this being cast in shadow, the side of this and sort of the rear being maybe a little bit more bright and then going into some of these more detailed areas. Um, meaning kind of more of the minor surfaces. Um, but really this is super, this is not scientific. I'm not going about this thinking too much about how this might realistically look. I'm just trying to capture what I think the forms are doing and express the forms in a way that people can read a little bit more clearly. 
Um, and again, I don't think I did that super successfully in this sketch here, um, but I think some of these forms read a little bit better than they might have if it was just a pen sketch. Um, going in there and making sure that I just very loosely detail out the the wheels and the tires. I'm not really gonna go and do a lot of detail with those on this particular sketch. Um, again, just trying to get this overall form to read properly. And now I'm thinking about capturing this sort of halo around the outside. Um, just really trying to make this stand off from the dark background. And you'll see me do this throughout this video. Um, turning this onto, you know, an overlay layer um, and really helping that overlay layer to capture the saturate or the hue that's underneath that um, and make it look a little bit more integrated. And again, the reflect reflective nature of some of these glass materials are going to capture light a lot more easily than something that might be matte. Um, just playing around with putting in a little detail there to make it look like it's a reflective material. Um, and again, just going around trying to figure out these surfaces that may not be reading quite yet and throwing every single one of these on a new layer. And a lot of the times I'm going in with the soft brush, brush to lay in these highlights and these shadows, turning them on an overlay or a multiply layer, and then erasing with either a soft brush, if it's a softer transition that I'm trying to fade it into, or a hard brush that's gonna be this really sharp, crisp edge. Now I'm going in with some highlights, making sure that some of these edges are, are reading properly and reading like they're um, these hard edges capturing light um, and just a really quick indication of this lighting element that might be incorporated and in maybe underneath this glass like material um, and this shadow underneath the body is really going to help the contrast so the body's going to start to lift off the page a little bit more I added a little bit of a motion blur going in the direction of the vehicle and this kind of helps it um, have this sort of emotional quality that vignettes off to the outside. And just filling in some of these other details, it's kind of um, this other theme that I wanted to incorporate with that uh, kind of cutout in that graphic up front as well as the graphic in the rear, these sort of like divot. Um, lines or depressed lines in this graphic just helps to tie the front and the rear together again experimenting with this like halo kind of concept trying to show that the light is capturing on both sides of this vehicle almost like it's coming from behind it but again the ultimate purpose i'm trying to build the contrast from the body to the dark background and doing the same kind of contrast work in the background itself. So very loosely indicating that the light is kind of coming from this rearward facing corner and the dark might be on the other side cast in shadow and playing around with some highlight layers, um, overlay layers that are in the back or on a top layer to help build up the contrast within the body itself. Playing around with the levels and really building up that contrast um, but it wasn't quite enough at this point, so I did go in and change that just a little bit more afterwards, and this is the final result. So let me know what you think. This was a pretty quick sketch over. I think it turned out kind of cool, and it was fun to go back and recreate some of these old sketches. So let me know what you're working on, and, and let me know if you're going to go back and recreate some of your own sketches. Shoot them my way. Um, if you have any questions or any can. Um, any thoughts about this video, feel free to let me know in the comments and have a great day.